Hey, happy Friday to you. It is March 30th, and these are the Friday Funnies. Well, this was a good week to stay home. You know, it costs too much to drive anywhere with gasoline prices closing in on $5 a gallon nationwide. At this point, I think beer becomes cheaper than gas. So I suggest that you drink, don't drive. That's, that's my new slogan. And if you're going to drink, I suggest you don't fly either. Now, I don't know what happened to Captain Clayton Osborne, the pilot of the JetBlue flight in Texas, the guy who snapped like a three-day-old cookie this week. He went nuts on board his flight to the point where the co-pilot locked him out of the cockpit and the passengers had to physically restrain him. It was like the Kane mutiny. And as the passengers held the pilot down, the co-pilot safely landed the plane. JetBlue, they assured all of the passengers, told them not to worry about future flights because most of their other pilots are not psychotic and take their medications more regularly. Personally, I'm not going to worry about anything because later on today I plan on winning me over a half a billion dollars in the Mega Millions Lottery. I know I'm going to win because I did the math. You know, they say the odds are like 176,000 to 1 of picking the right numbers, you know, because that's how many numerical permutations there are. Now, the prize, on the other hand, is currently over $540 million. So, if I buy all of the possible number combinations, all 175 million of them, I will have a guaranteed winner. Huh? I can't believe I'm the first guy to ever figure this out, so by next week I'll be loaded. Anyhow, even stupid people can win the lottery just like they won a place in this week's Friday Funnies. <laughs> Marsha Usher from Hudson, Florida called 911 and told them that she was lost in the woods and needed directions to a place where she could go to the bathroom. Upon hearing this request, the police ruled out the possibility of having a wild bear on the other end of the line. Instead, they traced the cell phone signal, found the woman not in the woods, but in her own front yard where she was drinking beer, completely intoxicated and yelling at the officers. Inside her house, they found a loaded handgun and methamphetamine. She was taken to a jail where, ironically, the toilet is only a few feet away. So, hey, mission accomplished for her. The moral of this story is to always be careful what you ask for. And be even more careful who you ask. The TSA folks who frisk us at the airport are doing their job to keep air travel safe. Now, Bryant Livingston is a TSA manager at the Dulles Airport near Washington, D.C., and he thinks that air travel should not only be safe, but also stress-free. That's why he ran a prostitution business on the side. Livingston would rent hotel rooms at the nearby Crown Plaza Hotel and fill them with hookers and johns. Of course, the men had to empty their pockets, take off their shoes, and remove their hats before entering a room filled with women wearing blue plastic gloves and offering to do a security pat-down with a happy ending. I don't know if you've noticed, but more and more people are preparing for the end of the world. Some have become preppers, and they, they stockpile food and supplies for the end of time, apparently thinking that by amassing supplies, when the end of time comes, they'll be able to hit the snooze button. Others are just old hippies who are waiting on the side of a mountain for an alien spaceship to pick them up. And that is what's happening now in France. A crop of New Age believers is gathering in France at the mountain called Pic de Boucheracus. I, I, I'm not French. Anyhow, they're waiting by this mountain for their ride to another planet. They think that the aliens will pick them up on December 21st and whisk them away to their new home. And even though the end is still nine months away, they've already begun to gather at the mountain. So I guess an alien spaceship works kind of like Southwest Airlines. You know, the first people in line get the, get the best seats. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. Have an enjoyable April Fool's Day. Remember, if your refrigerator's running, you better hurry up and catch it. See you next week. <laughs>